<laughs> Good morning. Thanks for tuning in to Narcology Unscripted. This is Dave. Today's subject is going to be signs that the narcissist wants back in. Guys, take a quick second, like and subscribe, and then comment down below if you agree with this take or you don't. Make sure you grab some coffee or tea. Good evening around the world. Thanks for sitting in to the Narcology Morning Show. Cheers. Well, guys, you have to be able to discern a Hoover from cheap supply Hoover or a Hoover that want, wants to come back in and perform their god-awful, ridiculous future faking again. Uh, first, I want to make sure everyone has the, their truth list, their Hoover truth list. Just make sure you guys are making a, a list with two columns. On the left side, I want you guys to write down the truth of who the narcissist actually is. And then on the right side, I want you to write down what they wanted us to believe, what the mask was all about. Write that down first and foremost. Call it the, the Hoover Declaration List, okay? Make sure that's at the beginning of a notebook too, because every time you're triggered, you're going to want to reference that. It's very, very helpful because once you start getting out of that dissonance, guys, and that is the lie that the brain is telling you, that defense mechanism that's going on, every time you're triggered, you pull out that notebook and you add on to the truth, of the declaration of the Hoover. That Hoover list will, will help you also, but when you're writing things down, when you get triggered, it's it's carving out different uh, pathways in the brain, okay? And it's a good way to get over your dissonance because once you're over the dissonance, it gets easier. It gets easier. Okay. Some of the... But let me give you an example. I don't want to just leave you guys. If you're triggered, uh, whatever triggers you, a song comes on that reminds you of the narcissist, you can write down, you can read the Hoover Declaration and write down that song that we danced to was the mass smiling. That that smile meant he couldn't believe how gullible I was being, that I was buying into the facade. Write things like that every single time, okay? So moving on to some of the signs that are crucial. Uh, if they text out of the blue and it just says hi or hello with no motivational reasons before or after, that is a tall tale sign that they want back in because they, they're being led by their emotions as they always do. That means the fuel sources around them are something happened. Uh, it's running really low and they panicked because if it's an agenda as far as a well thought out agenda, they're going to have an excuse of saw your car. What's up? Hi, saw your car drive by. Was that you? If it's just hi or hello, it is a knee jerk text to you that they're panicking on fuel sources around them. <laughs> Guys, they don't care how you're doing. They want you to say hello back. They're going to gauge who the Mrs. B's are, who's in the harem garage. But if you respond with a hello, they're going to say, how are you? They don't care how you're doing. They didn't care how you were doing as they were repeatedly pulling you through the coals on a smear campaign. They didn't care how you were when they were betraying you over and over and over and over. Did they care how you were doing? No. They don't care how you're doing now. <sighs> they just want to know if the key that they still have turns your fuel pump and let them know as ASAP so they can move on to the next fuel pump. They don't care about us. They never have. It doesn't matter who you are. When the fuel sources start to get scarce, they lead with emotions. So don't reach out and say, Hey, hello. But if you, if you ignore them, if you ghost them, they're going to, they'll probably get back to you the next day going and make something up. Oh, I saw your friend or 
blah, blah, blah. Or if you respond in a strong, negative way, they're going to be like, chill out. I was just letting you know that I heard this. So-and-so died. I was just wondering if you heard that. They always want excuses. So if it's just a hi or hello out of the blue, be ready, guys. Be ready. Get out your, your Hoover Declaration list. Uh, another tall tale, if, if, if a flying minion monkey that's close in their inner circle goes back all of a sudden to pre-discard like nothing's happened and is sweet to you and wants to communicate with you, you have to be careful because there's an agenda there. This is per narcissist. They follow everything that the narcissist wants. Why don't you see where he's at? See if he's waiting in the harem garage. They're not saying that, but see if he's single, blah, blah, blah. He or she is single. Guys, the smear campaigns are something else. You will see a group of dysfunctional people who can't even tie their own shoe working in conjunction like an orchestra against you because this is a malevolent force. This isn't one demon. This force is a group of demons, and they're all empty meat suits listening to this influence against you. If you're home alone, rejoice. Rejoice. God is pulling you out. God is taking out the garbage for you. But these, it's funny because you're looking at how can, how can a group of dysfunctional people being so well lined, doing what everyone wants because they're listening to the devil, guys. You have to know this. This is a force. It's not one demon in, in the narcissist because a normal person without devil influence isn't going to follow what they want. This is an agenda. This is a group of demons. You have to understand what's going on here. Another one is if they do a favor for you, pay off a bill, give you extra child support, uh, get you a job by pulling strings really sweet like. All of a sudden start treating you sweet, giving you favors, give it, you know, extra money with a narcissist. Always understand it's quid pro quo. They never do things out of the graceness and empathy and niceness and benevolence of the heart. They always want something back. There's always an agenda. And if all of a sudden they're doing this, they want back in with you. You have to understand this. Never take a loan from a narcissist. You're never going to see in the Bible where the Bible says, forgive the loan. Forgive the loan. Just take it. You're never going to hear that from a narcissist. They're going to want to be paid back plus the interest. And the interest is what they wanted in the first place from you. You'll see a narcissist do something very nice for somebody, give out, help somebody with a bill or something, uh, in that same day curse them because they didn't see a return on their investment ASAP. This is how a narcissist thinks. Think twice before you receive anything from your ex-narc. And don't, you're supposed to be blocked going no contact, but I'm keeping it real. I know, I understand there's a lot of you that have to keep communication lines open because of kids and going gray rock and all this stuff. But just be cautious if they're sweet to you right away and want to help you financially and, and pay off a bill, watch your back because they're ready. What's going on around them is the fuel sources are getting low. Just know this. That's a tall tale sign that they want back with you. Guys, everything, the negative that I'm saying goes in your notebook. And I just want everyone strong because of the season we're going into. And it's my job to prepare you because just understand we're not dealing with people. We're dealing with empty meat suits who the devil uses against you to get you off your path. That's why you just lost your bestie. That's why all of a sudden this person hates you. Well, you're probably lit up in the spirit realm, guys. And if you're really lit up in the spirit realm, the devil knows that you're an important person. 
It's going to try to destroy you, get you off your path. Just understand this. Question of the day, guys. Who understands this? Who, who saw firsthand the, about a minion flying monkey coming up to him or them paying off a bill for you or leading with hi, hello, with no motivational reasons for it? That's a huge, huge sign that something's going down. Be, just be cautious. And remember this, guys. The Lord wrote a book about you, just like everyone else. But you have to accept him and let your book come to pass. And if you do that, please reach out to me. I'd like to send you a Bible, a good Bible. Join the SEAL team. We would love to have you in this community I'll leave that link underneath the video. Like and com make sure you comment down below, guys. It's very, very helpful. This is a great community. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Be blessed.